Hello YouTube and welcome to this channel. In this channel I'm going to provide a lot of tutorials for um, ANSYS Maxwell, ANSYS Simploder and ANSYS HFSS. I started with ANSYS Maxwell and ANSYS Simploder and right now I'm covering the electrostatic uh, simulator of ANSYS Maxwell. I'm going to do a quick review of what we discussed before about the electrostatic uh, simulator uh, and uh, and get get to know what exactly this simulator can offer. Uh, as I said before, this simulator is great uh, for applications like calculating the capacitors, calculating the brake voltage of the breaking voltage, breakdown voltage of like big capacitors or like uh, giant um, basically um, uh, power electronic uh, devices. Uh, it's it's amazing for high voltage lines as well. If you have any applications in these areas, it's going to be very good for it. What it does can cal cal calculate it's basically calculate the DC electric field, and that's it. Um, the sources can be art arbitrary time varying current in conductors and also permanent magnets. Now, here is uh, something that we have to be a bit more cautious about that, and this is uh, when we say arbitrary time varying current in the conductors, doesn't mean that actually if you have any sort of like a pulse or like a, a triangular or a whatever sort of like a, a sources of the current is going to calculate a very accurate result for it. That's not exactly what it is. It's it basically gives you a sort of like an S parameters of the system but by calculating only the electric field and also only can consider an electric field for applications where the electric field is the major a significant field this gonna be the S parameters you have to basically calculate based on electric field so if you have a solenoid the major fields is going to be magnetic field so you have to use magnetostatic and if you have a capacitor the major fields in between the two plates is going to be electric fields therefore you have to use electrostatic uh, simulator to basically simulate the S parameters and give it back to simplorer then in the simplorer you can apply whatever arbitrary time varying current in conductors but note that now you are using S parameters and, the, and the, depending on how much these S parameters are going to be okay and true for any sort of current that you're applying, that comes back to your sense. I mean, if you think that this, when you're applying a lot of current, nothing bad can happen and the system is still in the linear region and it's in operating system, operating a point, then definitely you can apply those and you can basically expect to get a com common sense um, expect a uh, result from your from your system so that what I mean by arbitrary time varying system more accurately if I want to talk about I would say it's gonna be more like a sine wave uh, time varying current uh, in the conductors that is more accurate because it's more closer to what its parameters uh, are okay we can have permanent magnets when we can have nonlinear permeability in the simulators as I said the result is electric scalar uh, potential and from that we can have electric field and electric flux density these are the uh, the fields and uh, the parameters that the simulator will calculate uh, in order to obtain the results now from that point you can also ask the simulator to do some extra optional ex 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 steps for calculating the forces torques and capacitance matrix remind you that these are basically the equivalents of what we have over magnetic side which was a magnetostatic so uh, these are of what we have and you know that these guys can also be coupled with the DC conduction simulations you might ask what is DC conduction simulation the DC conduction simulation is the uh, uh, equivalent of the eddy current simulation which is AC version of electrostatic simulation so you can actually conduct the DC version to the AC version and use the results of the DC calculation as the boundary voltage for the AC simulations we can get to get we will get to that uh, applications uh, later on but uh, this is good to know that this has this capability